We're going to make some match rockets and it's very easy and simple to do. You're just going to need a few things which you'll probably find lying around the house. We're going to need some aluminium foil, a pair of scissors, a lighter with a long spout, a cook's lighter, some matches and a large paper clip. To start off, take the aluminium foil and cut out roughly a square. It doesn't have to be too big, roughly three times the length of your match and about four times the length. Now if we just cut that out, it doesn't have to be exact, it's just rough. It's going to be trimmed down later anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to put that out of the way for a minute and we're going to take our matches and we're going to cut off the match heads. So I want to put them in a little container because they will go flying. And whatever end you cut, the other end, whatever end you hold, the other end is going to go flying. So hold, if you hold the, um, the lighting end and then you can snip off the rest. Just collect about uh, 10 to 12 match heads. Okay, clear up all these matchsticks away. We will need a couple in a minute, so we'll keep a couple. We take our piece of aluminium foil and we can just coil over one end. It's, you don't need to do this straight away, but it just makes it easier when it comes to um, placing the match heads in place. If we take the match sticks out. And and these want to be layered um, just so that they're one thick. So they're not. Uh, they need to be quite tight together. So, uh, then one end will place one matchstick, and the other end, it doesn't matter because we're going to fold that over. That's going to be the top end. The end with the matchstick in it is going to be the end where the exhaust comes out. So. That's where all the energy comes from, so it needs to be opened, and we'll make it thinner later on. And this part is tricky, just keeping them all aligned while you do this, and it's just a knack to it. It doesn't need to be neat, as long as they're all tight together inside. You can just bunch that end up so they don't come out that way and then just roll the whole thing up. Now, there is a balance between how long you have it because um, that's going to make it heavier so it's not going to go as far and between how thick you have it because otherwise it's just going to burn through and it's just going to fizzle and pop on the when you go to launch it and that's not what we want. So there is a balance. Um, and obviously the more match, sticks, the ma match heads you have in there the thicker you want it to be but then you get more thrust so it is a balance there's no real it's more of an art than a science okay. once we get there you can cut off the final bit and then cut off some of the end and at the end you can roll it up like a toothpaste tube It's just to seal it off so no exhaust comes through and it all comes out where we want it to. Fold it over and squish it around. Okay. When it comes to the end with the match stick in, you just want to twist it around so it's nice and tight. When you launch your match stick rocket, remember to wear a glove on the hand with the lighter and always use a long handled or long spouted lighter. Never use a match to light this. Yeah. When it comes to launching your um, rocket, it's a good idea to um, just use a large paper clip to um, use it as a launch stand. Then, yeah, and make sure it's tight around the paper clip so you've got a short exhaust nozzle. So all that energy 
that's going into the launch is coming through a thin tube so you can get a further reach on it. Now, do be careful because you sometimes do get misfires and it will sometimes just kind of fizzle and burn and or go pop and stay where it is. So that's why it's important to wear a glove and goggles. Okay. So here goes. <laughs>